Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. This is early dinner uh, with Sandy from Sandy's Backyard Kitchen. We are here in the Florida Keys in Key Largo. We are back home. We were on a road trip, as many of you know. We went from Tampa to Orlando through Whitehaven. Uh, so many different places. We've been many stops before we got home. And uh, so we missed the cats. I missed the garden. Many things got ripened really quickly in the last four days. It was very warm here. <clears throat> so today, just one second, guys. Somebody is calling. All right. So what we're cooking today is something very, very different. I've never made before. I had some turkey. So I said, oh my gosh, tell me, what do you want me to cook with the turkey? Do you want curry? curry flavor do you want just a jira flavor or do you want like a stew um or do you want like a casserole style he said let's try jira i said you know what i technically never made jira turkey so this is the first time I'm making jira turkey and i'm making this trinidadian style um uh, for what i've learned over there how to make their jira meats or like jira pork jira chicken and stuff like that so I'm doing a Jira turkey. So let me show you as you're getting on here. Thank you so much for being here. Leave a comment. I miss you guys. Thank you all so much for sharing our page and make us where we are today. Thank you for supporting us on our Instagram, on TikTok, and also on YouTube. I'm still trying to figure out TikTok and Instagram, okay? So I'm still trying to figure out that. So what we're doing, we're cooking outside here on the fireside truller. So as you're getting on, leave a comment. And, and, and please share the ideas that you have. If you have any questions, please ask. And um, for the Jira turkey, guys, let me know how you make your Jira turkey. And I guess this is a Trini style I'm making this. Uh, because I've never really heard of this uh, until um, I started to look at the Trini dishes and I went to Trinidad. So I'm so excited and I can't wait another time like to make Jira shrimp and all these delicious things. So let's start, guys. I'm out here in the front yard. Um, cooking here on the fire side so I have my oil there starting up <laughs> get my oil there starting up it's such a beautiful day it's actually warm let me tell you it's like in the 90s right now so I'm very thankful I know many of you in the United States in Canada and around the world is going through uh, so many different trials right now with weather with health with family so many different things are going on a daily basis with us I mean, um, it's a daily struggle to be alive and to be strong and to be encouraging and to be having a great vibe all the time. It's work. It takes work. So um, I know it's a struggle, but you guys, that's amazing. You know, just send a great vibe out there in the world for warmer weather for everyone who are suffering in the cold and uh, for a good day. Okay, for a good day. So I have both sides of my fireside lighting up here. I need to put a little bit more wood. Uh, check out these guys. Uh, we trimmed some of the trees, so I have some nice bat hair that I'll put in there and see how fully dry now. But check this out. I'm growing up. Uh, I live in Logwood and more hello and more hello, Guyana. Big love, big love going out to Guyana. So that's where I grew up. I'm Indian descent and I grew up in Guyana. And I've been living here in the United States. I've been coming here for the last, since I was um, 19. So I've been living here in the last 14 years like pretty much full time so uh it's a blessing i'm i'm thankful for life every day so let's go ahead and i'm gonna start up this fire again i'm gonna smoke up a little bit and then it'll come back on let me see if i can blow it okay there we go got it got it i need a pook i need a pook for this job guys so I have my oil in here, and like I said, this is the turkey, and we will start with the turkey first. Look at this. So this is turkey all season and all green seasoning, and some uh, pimento, shadow benny, garlic, onions, and also some ground jira, ground roasted jira, or cumin for my international friends. So let's start this process. And over here, these are all the different seasoning and spices I'm using. Of course, all the tomatoes and peppers are from my garden. Uh, not the pimentos. I found these pimentos in Orlando, so I'm very thankful, thankful for the pimentos. I love the flavor of pimentos. It's not spicy. It's just flavorful, just flavorful. And I learned about this pepper in Trinidad also, which I love. And I love it with everything. I was, I was crazy when I saw the pimento in the store. 
I'm trying to grow some everyone so what I'm gonna do now is putting some onions in here I will be uh, I'm also cooking so um, I'm cooking later after this after chunky this or put this in the oil and everything I'll be cooking some dog la fry and this is something my mom growing up my mom and so will always put together it's like if we have one karaili or one balanje or one okra or a couple okra especially in a grow a little kitchen garden you get a couple okra you get a couple karaila you also get um a couple same and things like that and my mom always put them together we call it dog la curry or dog la fry so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to do dog la fry i have a little bit of okra and i also have a little bit of um karaila and i and um and some uh Okay, let's put some curry leaves in this. This is the jira pork we're cooking. So I'll put some fresh curry leaves in there or carpoli. So yes, yeah, so, so I'm so excited. We never waste any vegetables. If we only have a few, we always use it and put it together. So the carpoli and the onions is all cooking up here. And this is some jira. Check this out. This is some raw jira. Just as a, um, the whole jira or cumin. <laughs> so I'm going to put some of this in here to fry up also. What I'm using for this dish is mostly jira. But it's ground. I roasted it and I ground it up already. I'm just putting a few whole jira in here. So every bite you can taste a whole jira. Remember this is turkey, so you're gonna take a little while to cook. It's not like chicken. You take a little bit longer than chicken. Let's put some garlic and uh, let's put some pimento in there. So all that flavor from the pimentos, mm -hmm. from the garlic, from the from the carpoli and from the onions will all blend together in the oil. And that's how I like it. Mm -hmm. garlic garlic so I'm gonna put some pimentos in there Look. I, I have, let me, let's cut up some hot peppers. I didn't cut up the hot peppers to put in there. So let's do that on the board. I have some scotch bonnet, guys. No, check out the scotch bonnet. And it's spicy, okay? It's very spicy. So I'll be using a little bit of it, a little bit of it. Mmm. Mm. Oh man, you can smell that pepper. Oh wow, it smells so flavorful, so flavorful. Oh my gosh, my gosh. Mmm. It makes you want to eat the food right away. So let's put this pepper in here. wood in here we'll be doing some dog lock fry in a little bit I figure let me get this dish going and then we'll do that hello everyone hello welcome welcome so check out this turkey I cut them all um, into nice pieces check it out mmm can't wait to eat this together so these are many ways you that you can eat turkey as well you know, it's uh, some of the ways that I say, you know what, I want to do different meat in different uh, flavor. Um, use the things you get around you. And sometimes you buy one turkey and it's so big, you know. So I, I will curry my turkey, I will bake my turkey, I will stew my turkey. I, will, I even made turkey pepper pot. 
Last Christmas I made turkey pepper pot, so let me know if you've ever done that. So here the fire is going to start, and let's see, all the good stuff is all in there, and let's put in this. I have so I have some peppers to pick, I have tomatoes to pick. My goodness, so many things so many things actually um actually ripen up and they're so they look so good on the trees. So let's stir this up. There we go. I already put like one uh, tablespoon of jeera in it, or one teaspoon jeera. I marinated the meat with some jeera already. Liz said she made turkey pepper pot wings. Oh yes, that's how when I made my turkey, when I made my turkey pepper pot, I used the wings and I used the legs and the thigh and some of the back. Just to give it that texture and that little skin and everything to give it a little, you know, thickness. And I love it. Alright, let's put, I'm going to put some fine leaf thyme. I have some fine leaf thyme, so I'll put that in there. I'll also put some more green seasoning. Putting some salt. And this is the magic. This is the magic of the show. This is the ground jira. Ooh. Mm -mm. Smell that. Smell that, guys. So this is already roasted. This is already roasted or parched and ground. So let's put some jira in here. I'll also put some at the end. Uh, Liz says you're doing it correct. Yeah, good, good, good. I'm so glad. I'm going by memory of what my friends them taught me in Trinidad. I'm going by memory. So let's stir this up. Okay, show them the tomatoes. Oh, well, let's just stir it up here. Show them some of the nice big tomatoes I have to pick later, guys. Check out all these big tomatoes I have to pick later. Okay, so I'm getting ready to cook off my dog la fry. Put on my pan here. This is smelling delicious, man. I can't wait to see how it will turn out. And let's pick some of this here, guys. We'll pick some of this celery. Wash it. I have a little thing here to wash, but check out this fresh celery. Fresh, fresh celery. Let's uh, cook, cut up some. Put it in here. Welcome, welcome everyone. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Let's stir this up. Look how good this is looking. Fresh 
So let's keep some of it. Oh, let me see. I'm keeping my oil. Lorena says she can get in this delicious smell in Trinidad. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I just put some oil. We'll be frying up our, our fry now. Ah, we need a Ooh, nice fire. Check out my fire, man. Ah, uh, those coconut shell. Look what I'm cooking with everyone. I'm cooking with coconut shell. I'm cooking with like butthead wood. <laughs> Whatever I get from my garden, okay? I threw some some palm trees and said, why not? We can use this for cooking. Let me run inside of her. Uh, the lid. Uh, okay, no more fire. Alright, so let's let's start with our fry. Let me get some potato. Take this out. Look at that closely. Mm -hmm. Cooking some fry okra, okra, karaili, and I will be mixing potatoes and some nice tomato garden, fresh seasoning from Sandy's backyard garden. Mm. So, cook up, you can actually curry this together. It's so, so good. So good. Thank you, Camila. Putting in onions. Putting in some garlic there on time. Turning out to be the smell. Uh, it, it looks like duck. It looks like I'm cooking duck. This is turkey, guys. Turkey. I'm gonna run up in a minute to get um to get us a, a lid. Bibi says, I bet that smells delicious. Oh, Bibi Coluccio, how are you, Bibi? <laughs> you know Bibi, we've been talking to her a lot. Nice, man. And thanks to everybody who had an amazing time at the Pagua event in uh, Palm Beach. The Palm Beach man there, thank you. Uh, it brought so many people joy, so thank you so much. I, I love this. I feel when I was little, I never liked stuff like this. But now I'll travel miles, hours to go to things like this. It brings me joy, it brings me good togetherness with people. So thank you all who came up and say hello. Thank you so much. Uh, let's do this. So I have my... Let's cut up some uh, hair, guys. Dulce wants to know what you're eating jiro with. Um, I have rice. So that's some hot pepper. Look at this hot pepper here. Look. And this is some pimento I'm cutting up. Just for the flavor. I don't really use the seeds. So I'll cut them. I'll be planting these seeds. Oh, smells so good. So, so good. Look at these guys, what I have up here. Alright, let's get all these guys into here. So this is this is what we're frying up here. Check it out. Just a little vegetables. Look how good. Look at the colors of this. Look at the colors. That's frying up. I'll put in all these vegetables, karaili, okra, and potatoes all together. Mm. 
Let's put in some of this delicious celery from right there, from the garden. As you're getting on here, thank you, thank you for being part of us. Thank you for the love and encouragement you give us on a daily, daily basis. So these are all from my garden. Uh, let's chip up some, slice up some and put in there. I'm putting a little extra tomatoes in there, guys. Extra tomatoes. Let's stir this up. So all I need right now is a little bit of salt. And that's cooking up. And let's check on this guy over here. This is our Jira turkey. It's bonjaying or bonjaling nicely, frying up nicely. Oh man, it smells good, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Wow. So good. This is the first time I'm making this and it's really, really looking good. It's really, really looking good. What I'm gonna do now is pour some water in there and bond it nicely, start to catch a little bit. I'll pour some water now to cook it. It's, it's perfect. Liz says I never heard of the name of Douglas Fry. My <laughs> mom used to do that all the time. I like the name, so I'll use it from now on. <laughs> Douglas fry. Mix up whatever you have in the garden, whatever you have, you mix in there. Look at this. Ask if I should put some tomato in this. Should I put some tomato in, um, in this? Let me know, okay? I don't think this says to put tomato, but let me know if I should put some tomato. I will uh, get the cover now and cover that up, let it start to cook up. But before I do that, check this out. I wanna show you a little bit of this. I need to pick all these board peppers. Look at all these board peppers that uh, actually um, get ripened up while I was gone. So I need to pick them all because remember, more you pick, more you pick, more you get. And you know who taught me that? Ken from Arcadia, our friend Ken. Uh, look, I'm picking all these. Look how much is on this one here. I'm picking these guys. Oh, Tommy, can I have my, um, lip? Oh. I got it, I got it. I'm picking them. I didn't have a chance. They're so ripe and they're falling. But look, this will be good with some nice salt and pepper. Look at it. No tomato. No tomato? Okay. So, I'm going to let it cook. It has everything it needs. And at the end, I'll put a little bit more jira, ground jira, and a little bit more shadow benny. And maybe some pimentos, right? Let me know. So I think I got all of there. But check out these tomatoes. Look how beautiful they are. Don't pick it. Leave them forever. No, I want to pick them. Let's pick these little ones here. Man, these guys are so ripe and some are even on the ground. And we also will be cooking some fish. So this is my other line. This is, um, uh, uh, it's called the other lime. It's also called the golden lime, scarlet lime, Panama orange, and the other lime. So these guys are so good. These guys are so good. Um, and fish and so on. So I take out some fish to cook again tomorrow. So I'll pick a couple of these guys now so I can wash the fish and things like that. I love these guys. Oh, they're so good. They're like a little oranges, but they're all so sour. I also have some other peppers to pick in the other side of the garden and also some tomatoes to pick on the other side of the garden. I don't know. I'm going to just leave this. Tommy, let's pick it. Okay. Let's do it. 
I know. We have to pick it. Let's let's show everybody we're picking it. This is their garden also. Look, look at that. Look how nice this looks. So you have to stretch a slice out to everybody? Yeah, I know. Well, look how big this is, guys. Look at that. My sister calls those Jersey beef sticks. Well, look how nice. I don't want to pick it, but I have to. <sighs> Maybe I need a scissors. Okay, I need a scissors. I don't want to pull it. It's still so stiff on it. So I'll cut it nicely. I'll take a little video when I'm cutting it. Like they're so special, I don't want to pick them. <laughs> but check out this pepper. I also am having some chili pepper. And um, also some uh, some other peppers in the other part of the garden. Let's check on our... Oh, it broke? I had to bend it back. Oh, Can you... Here, hold this. Let me fix it. Don't step it. Hold this one second. Oh, well, Tommy, I'll run up and get me the... Tommy's gonna run up and get me the lid. So everything is cooking up nicely. Look how it's looking good. Uh, let me show you. Let me show. Let me grab the screen. Let's give this guy here a stir. And this is my dog, LaFry. It's, you can also cook it curry. But I'm cooking it fry up. I put some potatoes. The potatoes help suck up all that um, sliminess from the okra and uh, some nice fresh tomato from the garden and this is okra and karaili mix look at that so i'm letting it fry up right here on the stove on this fireside on a nice low heat you see on a nice low heat maybe i need to put a little piece more wood all right let me just put a piece of wood i want it to go slow i don't want it too much heat put a nice little wood there and this guy here is good looking good I also, let me see if I can find this. Um, just one sec, bear with me. Hi everyone, hello Paro. Well, many of you know that I'm so thankful for the opportunity. Angie invited Sandy's backyard as a guest to the Ramna Ramnarang show. It's a chutney soca brass that's going to be in Orlando this weekend, okay? On Saturday starting at four o'clock so um the music boss will be there uh raymond ramna ryan from trinidad will be there and uh, many other artists and so around um trinidad and guy and also here in the united states so i will be there i'm so excited so let me know if you're going okay i already post the flyer and so on, on my page check it out check it out buy your ticket now uh, so the doors open up, I think it's 4 or 4.30, but I'll post more information as the time gets closer. So I'm so excited. I've never met Raymond Ramnarang before. I wanted to meet him since I was in Trinidad the last time. And I know my, my mom is in love with Raymond Ramnarang. And through my mom, I actually get to know Raymond Ramnarang. Also, i um, going to Trinidad because everybody, uh, one of my amazing friends there, uh, Stephanie, she, they're great friends with Raymond Ramnarang. It could not work out for us to meet. But definitely this weekend I'll be meeting. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And so let me know if you're going to be there. And also when you're there, make sure you come up and say hello, okay? Make sure you come up and say hello. So let's go check out our food. And um, wow, this is frying up here so nice, so nice. I took out everyone, I took out the last pack of gilbaca, the gilbaca catfish from Guyana that I have, the last pack. So it's about five or six pieces. I took that out to cook tomorrow. I have some saijan to go with it. I also have some okra to go with it and some mangoes and of course fresh tomato from the garden. So tomorrow I'll be cooking that. Since I, I had gopi, many of you know I went, to, uh, we, we uh, meet up with gopi, uh, gopi and his family, the gopi family. Oh, his wife and his family is so amazing and we had a big cookout with the subs with our friends and subscribers and so on in Orlando or a little past Orlando area and we had such a great time so guys check out those videos and check out the Gopi family such a fun real 
family and I fell in love with them when I met them. You know, I fell in love with them. Johnny was catching fish with them in the nets. They were throwing the nets. We missed to get John on the video. He was too far in the swamp. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So this this is boiling up here nicely. Check it out. I'm going to cover this and let it cook on a nice low heat. I don't want to rush the process. So I'll cover this up. Did I put the jeera in? I did, right? Yeah, well, it obviously black. But I put in the jeera. I will put the recipe on. I will share the recipe with you. Um, and, um, and let me know how you do your jeera. Whatever your jeera, vegetables, your jeera, meat, whatever your choice. Let me know how you do it. Uh, so this is something that I learned from Trinidad, and I know they mostly use other meats other than turkey. But since I have the turkey, I said I bet this will be fantastic with turkey. Fantastic. And so far it's smelling and looking great. So I'm waiting to um, try it. And look. This is cooking up here too. Fresh. Whenever I'm cooking like fry bora or fry okra or fry whatever like this, this is a dog la fry. I, I just put whatever I need, you know, whatever you have in the home. I also like to make it with edos, believe it or not. I love edos in it. So I don't have any edos. I have some dashing, some Jamaican dashing. I've saw it at the market. I've never made, I never, um, I never use this uh, ground vegetable or or root vegetable. I've never used it. It's, um, according to the sign, it was Jamaican dashing. So let me know for all my Jamaican friends, please share some of your ideas and your recipes how I can make this vegetable. Is this the same like the Trinidad dashing and dashing? Let me know. Or like the same like the Guyana uh, kind of. It's not like the Edo's that I'm accustomed to to Guyana. It, it doesn't look like it. So let me know so let me know um, about this, okay? This is called the Jamaican dashing. All right. Um, hey, Andy Ali said to be sure he, you say, he says hello to you. I have to tell you that. Who? And Andy Ali. Andy Ali, hi. Where are you from? And Liz says put a little bit of jira at the end. Yes, yes. I'm planning to put a little bit jira and uh, some more... Uh, um, uh, what is this thing called? Shadow Bay. Shadow Benny. So let's cut that up one time. I have the jira ready. Trisha says you can boil and fry the edo really nice. The, oh, this dash, the, just the, like the root. Right? Oh, just like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure of something specific, but I have so this is some uh and I also have some shallots also, some shallot shives to put at the end. Boil some, and fry with salt fish or put it in the soup done saying. Oh nice, nice. So just like an edo. Use it just like an edo. I thought it would be like scratchy or something, you know? So at the end of, for the jeera, I have some fresh jeera that I'll be putting in. No. Ah, smells so good. And I have some scallions and also some shadow benny to put in there later. Andy says hi. He used to live in Tampa, but he's back in New York now. Oh, sending you some sunshine, Andy. Sending you some sunshine. Um, I know it's a cold front again. You guys are expecting a cold front again. Uh, everyone's saying to use it with salt fish also it's really really good Ooh, man so definitely we'll be cooking that next not today but uh look at that it's frying up nice marley says boil and fry with salt and tomato mm, nice nice i love all the ideas and again share your recipe how you make your jira pork how you make your j whatever jira for my trini friends Look how good this is looking. Yeah, everybody's uh, recommending put it in their soups and that it's good in multiple ways like that. I know it's very high in iron and my body needs some iron, so that's why I buy I couldn't find the edo, so I see the Jamaican dash in and I say, oh, this is going to work, this can work, right. you know. Um, um, Bernadette says, hi, Sandy and Tommy. I'm watching from Hyper Hyperbad, India. Hyperbad India? Yeah. Oh wow, let me know. Is that south, east, west? Oh my gosh, India is so big. I've been to India and I'm going to India probably this, if it's not this year, definitely next year. Um, I went to India over 20 years ago before John was born. 
and oh my gosh, my experience there, it, my experience there is unforgettable. And it was, I didn't have the food show, I didn't have Sandy's Backyard Kitchen, I went there to, to visit. So I went all the way from Bangalore, all the way to Delhi, I went to uh, Varanasi, uh, see the Taj Mahal, and so many different places. For a short time we were there, I think we were there for six weeks. So we went many places, and from there we went to Indonesia and Singapore, and spent another six weeks there, and so on. So these are countries that I can't wait to go back again and bring Tommy, and bring my son, John. I went to these places with John's dad, so... Uh, you know, it's been so long ago, and, and the things I know now, and, 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 you know, I want to go now again because it's going to mean so much more to me. So, let me know if you're from India. Leave a comment, okay, because I'll be coming to visit you, coming to visit uh, your area, your community, your village. You have to take me out to see the street food, and you have to show me how to do the Indian cooking. So, please reach out and let me know where you're tuning in from okay i also, love when you t tell me where you're tuning in from you also mentioned you want some people from places you could be traveling to on a cruise to reach out to you yes yes but we'll, we'll do that another time when we get it okay. information venezuela's in the house venezuela oh wow welcome welcome venezuela how are you what's your name what's your name i missed it ah uh, welcome welcome my friend I didn't know that Miss Debbie from the Gopi family, she actually grew up in Venezuela. So she's fluent in Spanish, which is amazing. And for many of you, my sister, um, Joshua, many of you have met Joshua on my show. My mom brought him here about a year ago. So Joshua, mom and Joshua is coming to visit the end of this month. My, my, my sister, one of my younger sisters, so I'm so excited. Ah, I'm so excited. Ah, it's so much fun to, you know, to get a family here. To come and see to and visit Joshua's if you can't live you know and Joshua's alright oh I mean everybody remember Joshua okay everybody remember Joshua so and he's much bigger now ah uh, and he's so mad every time my mom comes here he says why did you go to America and not take me you know <laughs> uh, everything is cooking up nicely uh, Demonte says my father is from India and he, and he came to Guyana Demanti, uh -huh. nice, nice. All our ancestry um, were from India, so we're Indian descent. I'm fourth generation, uh, so my goal was always wanting to go to India, and I did it. I did it, but now I can't wait to go explore it more. Um, I remember the amazing things with the street food and the people. Oh my goodness, so amazing, and the, and the, and the trains and oh the adventure there. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I wish I can go now. <laughs> I wish I can go now. So this is your front yard, backyard? Yeah, this is my front yard, backyard. <laughs> is this where you do your office? Yeah, this is my office. When it's cool and nice. Don't spin around, I should. So, um, Look, we got moringa tree planted over there and all kinds of gooseberry and we have coconuts. So we're trying to help enhance the area. So see you at the Chutney Soka Grass this weekend at the Fletcher, Fletcher Warehouse. Where? Fletcher Warehouse this weekend. Okay? The music boss will be there, Raymond Ramna Ryan, okay? So I'm so excited. Gosh. He just crashed Joy's Roti yesterday. Yeah, I saw a video with him that Joy's Roti. I love Joy's Roti. <laughs> you need to get Aunt Sheila on the dance floor. Uh, Nafesa says, I'm second generation Guyana from India. My grandfather was born in India. Oh, yeah, my great grandmother, my great grandparents are from India. Wow, so I'm fourth generation, so she's second. Oh, wow. So this is pretty much finished. The potato is finished. I'll just let it steam, cook a little bit more. And just the jeera turkey is cooking. And like I said, it is in fire. It's not very much fire. Um, I'm going to move this fire. Liz, I'll check with you on that in a few seconds. Huh? Pardon me? Uh, at the end. Uh, 
They always want to know how your doctor visit went. Oh, um, yes, I was, well, what's going on? Well, my yesterday visit, don't come out here, it's a little warm. Well, this is pretty much finished. Uh, yesterday we saw the last time we actually got home late from the doctor. And many of you know, um, they find that some fibroids? Uh, yes. Fibroids, yeah, fibroids are uh, in, my, in my uterus. And for some reason, my uterus is a lot thicker and bigger than normal. Uh, so like, they're like worried. huge. Yes. <laughs> I know things like this can happen and in many ways in your past life, stress, um, diet, things like this happen. So I'm so thankful to be in a country where we can actually, uh, they can find things like this, you know, they can repair you, you know, you don't have to worry so much. So what they find out is um, th there's some lumps and things like that that they're not sure what it is. So I have another appointment to go to get biopsy on the 13th of next month uh, to get a biopsy to make sure it's not cancerous. And they're recommending, what is the Robotic surgery. They're re recommending a robotic surgery. So it's something I'm thinking about. So um, I will have to do it if I want to get rid of the pain because in the last two years I've been in constant pain. But you know me, that's why I stay on a nice vibe. I stay positive because why stress about it you know why stress i'm thankful that i have the opportunity that i can go to a doctor and they can find out what's wrong and they have the opportunity to fix it okay so i'm so thankful we are in the process of taking um different tests right now and uh, so one thing they're making sure is not cancerous because they've seen some some stuff in there they're not sure so that's why they're taking some biopsy and, and all those guys, things. Guys, we have some moringa flowers, so she can drink oh. that to help with her inflammation Listen, and I'm ginger. I'm always going to be in an amazing mood because the nature, your energy, the people around me, um, the vibration of energy will heal you, okay? It will heal everybody. So if you stay positive, because things happen, you just got to deal with it and, deal, and try to deal with it in the most positive ways because why want to... Why would you want to be stressed about it? That will just make you sicker. So that's why I love to stay positive. And it's not an easy thing to do. So I consciously will try to stay positive as much as I can every day. Yes, I'll break down. Yes, we have arguments. Yes, we have disagreements every minute, every, you know, every day. But then it's how you want to do with it. Do you want to stay there or do you want to, move, you know, talk about it and move on and deal what, deal with what you can deal with right now and move on so i'm excited i have the opportunity to see all these different amazing doctors and um and things are in the process of getting better so thank you all for your prayers and thank you all for the energy of vibration and encouragement you send my way and for all my women friend okay friends if you have had a fight why is it hysterectomy Ex exorectomy exorectomy please let me know and let me know how you feel about it and things like that this is new to me and it's kind of a little weird because you know to get something out of your body and so it's very weird for me so let me know how you feel and if it you know let me know your thoughts please let me know if you can you can privately text me or message me or on this page okay it's all free and it's all open this is what our show is about so our food here is finished so that's what's going on with the doctor so thank you all for the blessings and encouragement you're all my family and you on a daily basis you encourage me so this is finished I'll take this off I'll just move it across here that's finished they say they love you and they're sending lots of prayers I was kind of worried and so when it says I have to go to surgery you know because it's something like I've never I never had to have a a, a surgery I've never been sick really um, or anything like that in my life um, so this is like this is not a sickness this is just something that you know happened to my body and uh, and it's something that I'm glad that you know I'm working on to get better so thank you all for the energy and the support you you send and your prayers it definitely helps I believe in that and that's one thing that heals me on a daily basis is you guys encouragement and love you share so everything is finished i'm gonna just leave that leg cook 
Yeah. So I can't. They're going so fast. Someone was saying she had it 13 years ago and everything's fine, and people okay. are saying they've been through it and it's very. Oh, supportive. nice. That's something like I was so worried, and I even was thinking. This is my personal thought, guys. I was even thinking, gosh. Um, am I too old for another child? Like, we want to have another child. <laughs> and then, but it says, my ovaries and so will still be in, be, be there. Um, we, so we can get a surrogate mother and so if we want to have a child. But then I say, you know what? I support so many people around the world, like in Haiti, in Guyana, in Trinidad. You all will and, never know how many families. And um, Never, and, ever. And, and I loved it. You know, I love it. And little kids and so. So I feel like all these kids are my kids. And I love adoption. I love adoption. So in the future, if we want to have, you know, more kids and so on, I love adoption. So this is something like what, what worries me for the last couple of weeks. I've been kind of thinking about it. And um, so now, yesterday, the doctor, I felt a lot better talking to her. Um, and I feel a lot better of what's coming up, you know. <laughs> Because she, she was saying, Sandy, you know, with, with what's going on there now, um, you know, they're worried about cancer us, and then I'm going to only continue to have pain. Yeah, with, with so much that she has going on in that area that is so inflamed and so many things are enlarged yeah. that they, it has to be robotic because it will be so sensitive and it needs to be such precision. Mm -hmm. But that's good. Hey, yeah. Johnny's in the house. Hey, I came to check out what's mom making. Come see, I'm making Jira turkey, look. That's a new item. Yes, right. I love from Trinidad. Hi, Dennis. And I see bitter melon. Denise. And I make Thanks. a dogla fry. Dogla fry. I don't fry. know what that means. Dogla fry means you have different things that you put together. So what I have is thoraila, uh -huh. you know, the bitter melon, uh, okra, and potatoes. And I fry it up with tomatoes, garlic, onion, garden freshness. Nice, nice. Bernadette saying, "Hey, Johnny." Reshma saying, "Hey, Johnny." Sabita saying hi, Johnny. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Say, how you doing? Hi. Okay. Let me get some coconut water. Happy to see you, buddy. And then we'll say goodbye. Two fifty. Do this. Let me get some coconut. Oh, gosh. It's warm. Tell you the truth, it's very warm right now. So check it out. Check it out. Get some coconut water. The nectar of the gods, I call it. The nectar of the gods. <laughs> mm. That's full. So much water. Let me pour some in the cup. Johnny Liz says hi. Um, let's pour some in here. Wow, look how much water that is in there. And I all and I also drink some. Let's get some jelly. Careful. I got a spoon. John, don't try this at home. Yeah. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Ah, look at that jelly. Ooh, the hold nice, this one, hold this one. The nice jelly, everybody. Yeah. Get a spoon. <coughs> Can you touch me? Mm. Eat this one, too. Mm. You want that one? I'm okay. You sure? Tom can have it. Mm. No, you eat it. Mommy needs energy. She does. Hmm. Here we go. Towards me. When you shake. Mm mm. So good. This is from the Jupiter Garden, guys. How how sweet is it? Mm. So good. Sweet sweet. Very nice. That's yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna quickly borrow your phone so I can uh, get my update on my app. Okay. So again, let me bring some more of this water. John, it's right there. Mm. Mm. The nectar of the gods, I say. My energy. A lot of water. Mm -hmm. Lots of water. 
So check this out. Thanks again for everyone. I'm all this cook. Thank you for joining and sharing and um, being part of us. Cecilia wants some jelly now. <laughs> Look how good this is looking. I'll give you one last look and then I'll close it with a nice heat. Actually start to get soft already. Um, actually let me just put all this fresh seasoning in there one time. Okay, so I'll put all this fresh garden seasoning. Yep. And uh, some more jira. I'll just let it stay on the heat for another 10 minutes. Put a little more jira in there. Oh, oh man, so good, so smells so good. Stir this up. Look on. I don't know if you can see Tommy. Can you see now? Shaleen sending you love from London. Can you see this? Yes, now? buddy. Okay. Look at that. So I'm going to let it cook on this nice low heat and cover it in the next 15 minutes. E everything is soft already. So this little sauce is going to soak in. Everything that I need is already in there. Bernadette, it says in India it's 12.56 a.m. Wow, 12.56 a.m.? Let's go to bed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow, I love you guys. I love you. And for all my Indian friends, uh, for the last several of my video, it's been going everywhere in India and Pakistan and Saudi Arabia. So thank you all for sharing my video. Thank you all. I love it. I love to connect with everyone around the world. You know, that's I've always been like this. It's not the first time. It's not because of the show. I was doing this before the show. You know, I was doing this on another level as a missionary, you know. So... I love this and I will do this the rest of my life. I love people and I love to spread kindness. Uh, thank you again all for being part of us. Uh, we have our delicious dinner here already. We have things to go do this afternoon. That's, what I'm, that's why I'm cooking so early. Uh, so my food is finished. I'll leave it right here on the heat light. Stay nice and warm up. And I'm going to clean up a little bit. Stay amazing everybody. Thank you so much for following and subscribing to our show. Leave a comment and also shout out where you're tuning in from. Um, love you guys. Have a great, great evening. <laughs>